Hey guys, and welcome back to another Knockoff Lego minifigure review. Today, I have the second sister from um, Jedi Fallen Order. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and open this package up. So let's take a look at the main body here. Some minimalistic printing, but not bad. Um, you can still see the outlines of the um, Inquisitor's armor here. Um, the face print is, uh, yet again, simple, but pretty good. I will say, um, unfortunately, um, it is not, I don't think it's in the right skin tone. Um, I think the um, character tends to have a little bit of a darker skin tone, um, which is unfortunate to see with them just going with a more lighter, just peach uh, skin tone. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the arms here, which look pretty good. Little minimalistic uh, printing, but still um, effective. Go ahead and put these hands in. Hopefully we'll snap in nicely. That's one arm done. Now this one, look at this. This has some, it looks like some excess um, plastic on it, but it is just peeling off and I got it off, so that's good. Um, go ahead and put, this, this arm looks, this hand looks better. Put this on just like so, snaps in and hopefully snaps in place. Yep, all right, that's the arms done. You need to probably push this one in a little bit more. Okay. Now, <clears throat> this is cool. Look at this cape light uh, piece. It's got some armor up top. Um, this is just plastic, which is interesting to see. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and try to fit this on here. Oh yeah, so I guess it just fits on like that. Look at that. That. That's something else, that's something new. I haven't really seen that um, on any minifigure and I think that looks pretty good. You know, I'm not a huge fan of cloth uh, when they have cloth capes and stuff. Um, I know that might be a controversial opinion but I'm always afraid I'm going to tear the cloth or something. Um, but this plastic substitute kind of works pretty nice and it's nice to see um and it you know it, it it looks it looks good it looks intimidating for the minifigure as well the only thing that um i think would be a complaint is that you know it's plastic and cannot um doesn't have the same mobility that cloth or fabric would um paper um capes as well but this is cool to see um let's take a quick look at this um, weapon. It is an Inquisitor lightsaber, so you get that cool double-bladed hilt, and then just two red blades. Um, pretty standard for, um, we've seen this in Lego, but it's still cool to get more of those. Now, the helmet is one of my favorite parts here. Look at how intimidating that looks, um, and I guess we'll just put it on just like so. Yeah, there we go. So, there we have it. Our um, second sister, I do want to see what it looks like without the cape. Still pretty good, but definitely, definitely less intimidating than with the, uh, very massive cape neck attachment. Anyway, um, if I had to rank this figure, I would go probably a seven or eight, um, just due to the lack of printing. Um, but it's still a pretty good quality. Um, I will say I do have some um, regrets, I guess. I, I don't love the face print. I think they should do a darker skin tone to match the character. But I also understand the knockoff. Um, many figures don't always have the best accuracy. Um, and I would like some more printing, but the cape is cool and the helmet looks really good. And it's just cool to get this figure as well. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.